the IBM Model 30 286. This video is less a hardware review and more an extreme makeover of a system that likely developed problems and was relegated to spare parts. Time had not been kind to this vintage hardware. Peeling paint and rust had taken their toll on the outside and mice on the inside. Used as a rodent resort, the tenants left the hotel a mess. Everything, except the drive motors, and I do mean everything else, went into a hot, soapy water soak. If I couldn't get it clean, it was going into the trash. Yes, the motherboard was completely submerged for two minutes, three times. That's a total of six minutes underwater and scrubbed with a toothbrush to get it clean. The power supply was additionally sanded and painted and the switch was soaked with silicone spray before reassembly using compressed air followed by 15 minutes with a hair dryer the motherboard was completely dry don't skip on this step some parts were cleaned ahead of time and spent 30 minutes in a convection oven at 120 degrees testing one two three more sanding and painting. Since the seller's photos showed garbled video and the beeping reaffirmed a bad video controller, I installed a basic ISA VGA card. The diskette drive comes apart pretty easily. The spindle motor at top and the stepper motor were spared the bath. They were cleaned with alcohol and cotton swabs. The circuit board was dunked and at this stage had spent some time in the oven. Now to tackle the dead battery in the real-time clock. Yes, there is a watch battery hidden inside. Here with new battery holder hot glued to the top. I found the startup disk image online and use my favorite hex and disk editor to write it to disk. A small setback. The original hard drive worked for a couple of hours before its old age caught up with it. Fortunately, I had backed it up to a zip drive, so an Adaptec controller and another drive, and I was back to where I had left off. In the end, the onboard video didn't work, the hard drive died, and a replacement of the same kind was expensive and half the one meg of RAM had issues. The replacements consisted of an ISA VGA card, a SCSI controller and a drive, and only 512K of memory passes the power on self-test. 